military exercises. Are you concerned that the South Koreans are playing defenses? And how long do you think... Well, Kim, the uh, closing of guard posts is a good example of a tension-reducing measure that can also help to build some degree of, of trust. There is risk involved in it. Uh, the military demarcation line, as it is, has prevented the resumption of hostilities. And the reduction of these uh, first sets and their, their pairs uh, between North Korea and South Korea on both sides of the line uh, may help to reduce tension and the potential for an incident occurring. With you. As a UN commander, I support these initiatives that can re reduce tension, military tension along the military demarcation line. As the combined forces commander responsible for defending the Republic of Korea, I have some concerns about what that means militarily to the ability to defend along the military demarcation line and in depth beyond it. And I, I believe that there's a reasonable degree of risk that's involved in this, not an excessive amount of risk as a combined forces commander to the defense of the Republic of Korea. The postponement of the Ulchi Freedom Guardian exercise, the one that would normally be ongoing right about now, uh, was intended with that purpose in mind. It's very clear that that was to create some room for traction uh, to occur uh, at the immediate following of the Singapore summit. And so I took that as instructions, orders. That, that's the way we took it, and we immediately made adjustments. Uh, to ensure that we were working through implementation with the South Korean armed forces. Uh, at the same time, I, I received no order to become unready. Uh, no one told me to stand down from readiness or the serious professional work that we do as professional militaries here in the Republic of Korea. And so we'll find other ways to maintain readiness. And uh, that means more creativity in how we do our work uh, uh, sharing knowledge with different leaders as they change out to make sure that we don't atrophy in our readiness while this diplomatic effort is ongoing. I do think that it was one effective step in building trust where that which had been committed to was fulfilled through action. It was delivered. And it took cooperation with the Korea People's Army to get that done. And as you might imagine, behind the scenes, we had quite a bit of work going on to set conditions for that. Uh, but it became historic through cooperation. We do have hope and expectation that there will be subsequent meetings with the Korea People's Army to achieve a repatriation of any and all remains that are in their possession at the present time.